Okay guys, so I am currently hiding out in my garage. I am throwing my husband a very, very spur of the moment going away party. So just to let you guys know how it works with overseas basketball, today is Wednesday and we just found out today that my husband is leaving on Friday to go overseas for the basketball season. So when we found out that he would be leaving like this week in two days, I really wanted to do something to send him off. And so I text a few of our really close friends to see if there was any chance they could make Hi, it tonight. Guys. And they said yes. Hi. So we are hosting a very impromptu going away party for him. So literally on Saturday, we were out of town in Sacramento and we got an offer from our agent for, you know, this team. We came home on Monday. They sent over the contract. Tuesday, my husband signed it. Tuesday night, they were like, oh, we really like him to come out this week. And then today, Wednesday, they were like, oh, here's your flight for Friday. So everything is moving really really fast over here and i am just trying to help him get everything ready the rest of this week the kids and i will not be going over to join him overseas until october so it's really just him leaving for now but i wanted to do something special to send him off and to give him a chance to say bye to his friends and so he's upstairs putting Jackson to bed and I am around here trying to get everything together for this spur of the moment gathering. It's so I'm keeping things super simple. Obviously just ordered pizza and wings. I have some beer, some tequila that we happen to have and we will just, you know, celebrate my husband and see him off. seeing that I was sitting out drinks and things and start asking questions. Yeah, I, I knew something was up when you like went and got ice. I'm like, why you got a bag of ice? Yeah, you're very nosy and very hard to uh to surprise, surprise. But I may have invited some of your close friends over to send you off. Oh, so that's why Derry texted me and was like, I heard the news. Yeah, and I was like, don't. No, and I texted him, but I was like, he doesn't know. And he was like, oh, my bad. He was like, I'm just not going to answer. I was like, yeah, we're so busy. I don't think he'll think. Yeah, he'll I was just like, Surprise! Surprise! Oh, I'm so surprised. I wish I could have like, done an actual surprise where like I got you out of the house and everyone was here when you got here. But I literally put this together today. So <laughs> bear yeah, with me. I, yeah. I mean, I'm just as surprised. But I, I when I saw the ice, I was just kind of like... Yeah, you're all you're also a bad liar. So we that works good, that guess. works in my favor. All right, y'all. So we've got my husband's favorite fry lemon pepper wings. He has already He has already grabbed one. How are they? Two thumbs up. All right, we've got a variety of pizza, a few little snacks and drink options and we are just waiting for our guests to come and see hubby off so miss harper here was insistent that she not wear this to daddy's party i guess this is not this isn't dressy enough oh my God, this is the dress i picked you look beautiful harper that's a good choice thanks you ready yeah let's go Hey guys, so today is my husband's last day home before he leaves for the basketball season and there is always a lot to do 
on this day just to make sure that he has everything that he needs for departing. I mean, spending, gosh, nine months overseas, there are certain things that we always like to make sure that we have for home. Um, the kids and I will be over in a few months, so we will be able to bring more things like as things arise that he figures out that we need, but we do like to send him initially with a few items. So he and I are out running some errands. Where to first? Well, we gotta get the um, international driver's license mm -hmm. first. We have to do that every year because they're only good for a year. Yeah. Um, we just go through triple A to get our international driver's license because they are accepted in most countries, not all. So we both have to get that so that mine is already out of the way. Also, of course, you're going to say it's for me, but we got to go to Target. It is for you this time, though. But I feel like if you weren't married, you probably wouldn't even, like, think to take this stuff. But I always like for him to take, like, toothpaste, deodorant, because all deodorant is not created equal. We have learned. Wait, what you trying to say? I'm just saying that we have nah, been... No, that was a shot. It was that not. Was a shot. But I mean, even me, cool. too. Like, I like to take my own deodorant. We have been in some countries and, like... Try their deodorant and it doesn't go well for us. Yeah, definitely ain't got the same, ain't got the same kick. Yes, so toothpaste, deodorant, you need, you know, a little something for your hair, just like some leave-in conditioner to take. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think that's probably about it for you, right? But for me, I like to just adapt to the climate, man. You know, whatever soap they got there, it is what it is. I'm gonna use it. It's soap at the end of the day. That's yeah. always been, like, my thing. And I feel like the more time that we've spent abroad, like, the more easily we adapt to, yeah. like, life there. I mean, like, <laughs> our Look, first remember, year. Remember, yeah, remember Italy. The first, how many bags did we have? Gosh, I think it was just two of us. We had no kids, and I think we had seven or eight bags. Yeah, eight bags. And, like, and I had a bag of seasoning. I had a bag with, like, soap, lotion, like, all the things. As if they, as if those things were didn't exist. You know? Right. Like, the deodorant and the toothpaste, like, I do still take every year. But, like, soap, yeah. lotion, all those things. Even, like, seasonings. I used to take, like, seasonings, ranch dressing, like, you know, barbecue sauce, all that stuff. Now we've found that, like, you can usually find some of that stuff overseas if you go to, like, a specialty store. And especially where we're going this now, year. Now, mind you, also, we're going to age ourselves. But, like, Amazon wasn't as prevalent overseas overseas yeah. as it was as it is now I this is say. also true um and like where we're going this year there's like a large expat community so i feel like we'll be able to find those things and even still like now like i will take like two seasonings that are like staples for me like Lari's it's usually lorries and it's like uh, a cajun that, uh, seasoning season. yeah of some sort like i will take those two like the big containers and like that's it. Other than that, I will find seasonings that I like in whichever country, which is actually kind of fun to, like, you know, get a taste of, like, how they season their food and stuff like that. But, like, when we went over, I think, our first two seasons, like, I was taking all the things <laughs> with me. So it has gotten better. But there are still, like, a few things that, I don't know, I like for us to take over. So sending him with some staples at least to last him until the kids and I come over in a couple months. Really quick, um, last night, as you guys know, I put together like a very spur of the moment little gathering for my husband to see some of our friends before he left. <laughs> what did you think? Were you surprised? Nah, I was I was surprised, but I, I knew something was up. Like when you when the uh, Instacart delivery got there and I'm like, because you had like three different beers and it was like cases of them. And I'm thinking like, OK, I know we might <laughs> sip a little something tonight, but I'm like, damn, she. She really trying to get... Right. I, I know. You were like, is she that sad that I'm leaving? That she's about to be just, like, drinking yeah, beer? Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I was, I'm like, okay, I know we probably had, like, a sip of wine or, you know, a glass of wine just to wind down, but... Like, damn, she like a frat girl or something. <laughs> was not all for me. You soon found out. Yeah. Was it, like, nice to see everyone? Nah, it was good. It was good because those are always... That's the thing I always think about on the plane, like, going there, I always think about, like, dang, I, I missed such and such one last time, or mm -hmm. dang, I, I was supposed to go here, and, yeah. you know, so it was it was cool. 
Well, I'm really glad that I got to do that for you and that, you know, you got to kind of say see you later to our people. We've we've had a lot of, like, really fun social time this summer. And when we were talking about, like, our plans for the summer, like, that was the number one thing is to, like, you know, like, spend time in our community and with our friends. And I feel like we did that. And I'm glad that, you know, they got to send you off for the season and kind of say see you later to you. Although... Like everyone that came was like, "Oh yeah, we're come, we're gonna, we're gonna come visit you guys during the season." So. Yeah, yeah. Actually, most mostly everybody was planning at the party. Like, okay, what about these dates? Like, yeah. like we can stagger it so y'all can get there this time. We can get so you know that was cool to to see and and experience. For sure. So we will take you guys along with us, kind of while we run these little errands that we're running today and um as my husband starts to pull out his clothes and i start to help him pack we'll kind of show you guys what that looks like when you're going overseas for nine months So we added on one little spur of the moment, Aaron. My husband can never find shoes. He randomly checked online, found that like sporting goods that we were nearby happened to have some shoes in his size. And so we we're running in to grab him some little walk around shoes to have during the season. Yes, ma'am. I think they're gonna work. How do those feel? They cool. You yeah. know, you just need you just need some knockarounds. You know, you're gonna be doing a lot of walking, so something you can just throw on with some joggers. Take the kids to the park when we get there. All the things. You already got me on the schedule. No, 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 I don't think yeah. we're gonna go with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go I don't think that's the one for us. Maybe we should choose another brand, given nah. that you are an athlete and you perspire often. Nah, um, this one, this one, honey scent. It's probably like just honey and salt. Yeah, no, yeah, let's, we'll go with that one. let's go with something else. I'm we'll gonna go with that one. Yeah, this is why y'all saw because when I was growing up. Y'all had that deodorant. You had that deodorant uh, Tussie. Tussie, yeah. Tussie, Tussie, whatever. When you put it in, it like, if it get under your nails, it's like you had French tips. Yeah. Yeah, it only came in two. Was it the red and the blue? Baby powder and original? Yep, that was it. I usually cut my own hair, you know, usually just tape it up, line it. Um, with the plug situation, I kind of, I'm very weary, so I always go the lithium um, wireless. I feel like it's easier to charge. Because, like, the first year in Japan, I think I blew out, like, two pairs of the T-outline. Just not knowing the wattage and conversion and everything. And, uh, yeah, so I just go wireless, man. All right, I think we're done. We got the clippers that he needs, toothpaste, deodorant. We got his leave-in and conditioner. Ended up grabbing a few t-shirts and of course, just like a few things that the kids needed as always. And I think, I think that's everything. We straight, we good. Oh, shampoo and conditioner? Oh, I just use bar soap. Your hair is gonna fall out, <laughs> all of it. <laughs>
All right, last stop of the day. I don't believe that we have shared with you guys where we are headed yet. And so we are headed to Party City because I wanted to get some letter balloons and film a little video, just kind of, you know, finally announcing what country we're going to this year. Uh. Right, so as you guys know, it's Hubby's last day in America before he heads overseas for the basketball season. And he was kind enough to bless us with his world famous spaghetti. So I thought I would be cooking tonight since he's leaving tomorrow, but he's in the kitchen. Well, you know, I aim to please. Uh, per request from, from my mini me, she wanted spaghetti before daddy leaves, so. Spaghetti it is. What we got here? Uh, <clears throat> so this looks strange, but this is olive oil and basil fresh from our garden. Mm. So I froze it so it's easy to just, to just pop in. Um, this is flavorful, easy. I put some Italian chicken sausage. In the food processor, it came in the link form, so I ground that up to kind of simulate uh, ground beef, I guess. Uh, I usually use ground turkey because it's healthier for you, and uh, it's just, it ain't as heavy. You know, it's not as heavy on you. And uh, tomato, what, basil and... Basil. What's the other? Tomato, basil, and uh, the roasted garlic. Tomato, ba so basil, garlic, really like the foundational flavors. Um, I usually use those two, and you know, it's a blank canvas. You just go from there. Jackson, are you gonna help Daddy cook? You're gonna help him? Huh? Cook. Cook. My sous chef. Is it as good as it always is? I'm feeling it's gonna be, be the best part of the summer. Yeah, I think y'all be here. Mm -hmm. You like it? You want more? So we are finally settled for the evening. Well, I'm settled. DJ made us spaghetti, we ate dinner, and enjoyed some more family time, of course, like with him headed out of town. The most important thing for us today, even on top of all of the errands and things we had to do, was just to like spend time as a family and for him to spend time playing with the kids and all of that stuff. So after dinner, we had some good family time before it was time for the kids to go to bed, and now he is packing and I am supervising, which is a change for us because usually I am the one that is packing all the bags. But as of now, I'm just kind of supervising and, you know, helping as I can if he has like questions about if I think he should take something or leave something and all of that. All right, honey. So what is the plan of action for packing this year? First of all, Contrary to your belief, you know, we met when when we were, what, 18? So like I've been packing bags way before I met you. You know what I mean? You 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 giving this you giving this impression that I'm just incapable of packing bags. I can pack. I mean I'm not saying you're incapable, I'm just saying that for the last fifteen years you've had assistance. You've had assistance. Right. I've had assistance. What I'm trying to say is, okay. And you're doing a great job. What is your game plan this go round? Actually, you know what? Let's pause because I don't think that we have actually shared where we are going. And we recorded a little fun video with the kids kind of to announce where the Joneses are off to this basketball season. So are you ready to tell them? You can tell them. All right.
Here it goes. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Right, so now the cat is out the bag. We are headed to spend the basketball season in Dubai. If you guys have been following us a while, you know that this is a big change for us. We've been in Japan for the last, gosh, three, four years. So this will be a big change, but we are very excited. Given that we're going somewhere different, honey, what is the game plan for packing for this season? Uh, it's actually a lot easier because the climate, they don't really have four seasons. Um, it's mostly hot and hotter. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just short sleeves and shorts. Yeah. That's it. Um, I do, I think in the cold months, I think in December, January, the low is maybe like 58, 59, like low 60s. So, you know, that's, for me, that's that's hoodie weather. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a lot easier uh, to pack. Yeah, no big North Face jackets this year. No Uggs nah, for me. No Uggs, no North Face jackets, no um, Long Johns, no gloves, mitts, earmuffs, Hats. scarves. None of that. None of that. The common problem you do run into, though, as a fairly large man myself, depending on where you go, you can never find, I mean, I wear a 15, so the likelihood of me finding basketball shoes, or shoes in general that fit me is slim and none. So the majority of my packing is shoes. Shoes? You know, that's the bulk of... All of the weight. And so most cases, like I think I got five pairs of hoop shoes. Um, in most cases, you want to sacrifice everyday shoes with hoop shoes because they take priority. Year 12, I mean, probably not going to go out, probably not going to be partying a lot. So, you know. As we went to the store today, you get like knock arounds that you just wear every day that's comfortable, you wear with warm up, you wear just going to the grocery store out and about. And then you got your, you know, when you when you do step out. But for me, basketball shoes take priority. So, me and the kids are planning to join you in what, two months? Maybe about eight weeks. Yeah. How do you plan to occupy yourself until we get there? What's your what's your plan? Because I know that, you know, it's hard. It's hard on all of us when we're apart. Yeah. Um, well, sleep. I'm planning on catching up on a lot of sleep. But mostly, just losing yourself in the work, man. I mean, that's just life. Like, basketball has always been an escape. It's no different now that it's my job. So I just lose myself in... In the work, getting acclimated to my teammates, learning the playbook, um, building like a rapport with my teammates outside of the court, you know, because when the family's there, the kids kind of take precedence. So, especially overseas imports, I know you may be an introvert, you may be socially awkward. But it's important to build that rapport with your teammates outside of the court because when adversity hits, that's going to be the foundation of y'all's relationship. So if you're closed off, if you're a recluse, adversity hits as a team, that your teammates don't have a point of reference to go back to, you know, as to what type of person you are. Yeah, they don't know who you are. They don't know who you are. So it's important to... Um, it's important to build that rapport, man, and, and and even if you ain't like a club type guy, like just going out to dinner or visiting a local popular spot or just kicking it at day day apartment, you know, I think that goes a long way. So I think that's gonna be, you know, my strategy. And uh, maybe finding the lay of the land, so when we get there, we can we can hit the ground running how we always do. Absolutely, you know, your daughter is gonna be ready to eat. She, yeah. You, um, you, your daughter, y'all gonna be ready to 
find. I mean, I think at this point y'all can sniff out smoked salmon in a ten mile radius. So <laughs> you know, um, Jackson's gonna be looking for a park. He's gonna be looking for a park. Uh, Ices, popsicles, ice cream. Um, places for family. Places, you know, just just learning the lay of the land, basically. Um, asking around. Sometimes I didn't discover more places just driving around mm -hmm. and, you know, just exploring, but learning the lay of the land and, you know, uh, just immersing myself into the environment, if you will. So, yeah, tomorrow we have a, you know, kind of tough goodbye ahead of us. It never gets easier, even after all of these years of doing this. Like, of course, tonight I'm kind of like, oh, my gosh, like, am I making a mistake? Should me and the kids be going over with him? Like, is spending a couple of months, you know, back the best thing? But I just remind myself that this is what works best for us and is best for our family. It gives me a chance to like tie up some loose ends it gives the kids a chance to kind of you know participate in a little bit of the school year here and have a few activities here until we leave and to just like say goodbye to their friends before just like going across the world you know, for them like staying back gives them a chance to kind of come to terms with the fact that we are leaving and get excited about leaving instead of just kind of like snatching them randomly you know without any warning and also it gives me a chance to like pack for all of us without having to like rush like I cannot imagine you know we just found out that DJ was leaving tomorrow like a day and a half ago so I can't imagine how stressed I would be right now if I had to pack for me and the kids to go right now too with like no warning and so you know, I think that this is best for our family. And although it will be hard to be apart for two months, I'm just going to stay super busy, just keeping the kids in their activities and working out and all of that stuff. And I know that the time will go by quickly and we will all be reunited in our new home in Dubai soon. Say bye bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Say see you later, Daddy. Daddy. I'll see you in a couple weeks, okay? See you in Dubai. See you, baby. Love you. See you in Dubai. Love you too. Y'all listen to mommy, okay? See you in Dubai. <laughs> see you, baby. Bye bye. Bye bye, baby. See you in Dubai. Okay, baby. See you. Safe travels.